Hey there, I'm Mr. Terry. I'm a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. And in bringing in the new year, I thought another thing we should be looking at from 2023 is what archaeological discoveries were made last year. Because I think sometimes we forget that history is an ongoing process of learning. And just like sciences, our conclusions should change when new evidence is found. And we should never stop searching for more and more understanding of our past. So this video was recommended to me, and it's from a channel I haven't seen yet, and it's called World of Antiquity, and it's simply called 20 Greatest Archaeological Discoveries of 2023. Now, this video will be linked down below. Make sure that you are supporting that. And be sure to let me know which discoveries do you think are the most significant. All right, let's get started. All right, let's see it. For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. I have to follow this channel. Every year, archaeologists make exciting new discoveries. Yeah. And these discoveries, that thing don't get every pressed, single one though. of them, rewrite history in some way. And for those of you who aren't aware, there are so many finds being made all the time that I do a monthly live stream going over some of the more interesting artifacts found in a single month. Oh, cool. But now it is time to look back at the whole year. Have to check so that out. I have picked out what I think are the 20 best discoveries in archaeology. Mind you, since I'm a historian of ancient times, I have chosen only the discoveries relating to ancient times. So nothing here from prehistory or medieval times. Still, no one cares about that there's anyways. much here. We already know that. everything I hope about you modern times. about these as much as I did. So here we go. <laughs> uh, one of the ones that came to my mind, did we, was it this past year, maybe it was earlier, that they found that giant void giant space chamber or something like that in the great pyramid that they did not know existed it hasn't been uncovered yet but like they were able to scan it or whatever was that this year i'm sure he would include it but that was one of the ones that i've been aware of recently that was kind of a big deal all right bronze age network of enclosures in serbia <gasps> all right number enclosures, 20 huh? bronze age network of enclosures not in serbia more than 100 previously unknown structures have late been identified medieval in Serbia England? using Google Earth and aircraft reconnaissance. 3,600-year-old walls and ditches, the this is their Bronze Age, were found in the Pannonian Plain, an area that includes parts of Romania, Hungary, and Serbia. Huh. These sites were thought to be isolated during the Bronze Age, but this discovery by archaeologists from the University College of Dublin reveals the sites may have been part of a network of settlements and ceremonial or seasonal gathering places or cattle pens stretching over 90 miles along the Tissa River. We just, we didn't think so. He's talking Bronze Age. Okay, so, I mean, before 1000 BC were... They did not think that there was that type of development in Serbia. Number 19, ancient huh. Chinese water conservation facility. Chinese researchers excavated great the water Gate movement site Chinese in the ancient, ancient capital city of Luoyang have discovered of canals over 80 and meters of water channels water wheels, dating back stuff. to the Wei and Jin dynasties. That's 220 to 420 CE. The channels yeah. display advanced water conservation techniques coupled with efficient resource utilization like rainwater collection. The Isn't it amazing that usually, you know, the more evidence that we find for ancient civilizations, the more technologically advanced they are. That happens like in every case. Like we're like, whoa, and it's always older. Older and more advanced. We're not giving credit to the ancient folks, man. Discovery, including stone culverts running parallel and illustrating a unified construction plan not only has contributed to our understanding of Luo Yang's royal garden layout, but has shown technology we didn't know that they had at the time. Number eight. You know, their manipulation of water was key to why China was one of the great early river valley civilizations. Yangtze River, Yellow River, these are rivers that are violent and they are also a lifeblood and you have to constantly be maintaining them. Um, you had to. Otherwise, there can be devastating floods and stuff like we see in Mesopotamia, right? 18. Multiple Ooh, new discoveries Egypt, Saqqara? at Saqqara. The tomb of Panessi, the steward of the Amun Temple during the early Ramzide period. Always fine in Four Egypt Four well-preserved yeah. tomb chapels. One belonging to a man named Yuyu, a gold foil maker for the Pharaoh's treasury. And two complete embalming workshops for both humans and animals cool. were discovered in the Saqqara necropolis. Cool. The first embalming. Those necropolis are so cool. There's usually one by like pyramids. 
It's where they prepare the body for the afterlife, which is an extensive process, which takes weeks. Workshop dates to 380 Sorry, to 343 BCE, BCE Christmas the second boy. to 305 to 30 BCE, and the tombs date to the old and new kingdoms of Egypt. Old Penis and new? resembles a freestanding temple with a gate entrance. It's like a thousand years apart, or two thousand years apart, it can be. Official during the reign of Tutankhamun, which I visited last year. The um, can we... Talk about how does this guy have an Oscar on his shelf there? A high ranking official, is he part of a documentary? Kamun, which I visited last year. I the need to get any of these two are oh. adorned with colorful reliefs and depict Penessi, his wife Baya, priests, and offering bearers. Number 17. Didn't we also on a web uh, on Netflix? There's that documentary, I think it's about is it the tomb at the pyramid of Saqqara? Is that the bent pyramid? where he started to find out a lot more. And also we think we know of another, we found what we think is another pyramid or at least the foundation of one that we didn't know of before there as well. Dude, Egypt's wild. There is so much to find there still. It's crazy, but it's so limited. And I understand they're very um, protective of excavation and stuff and they want to do it themselves, right? The British had done it so haphazardly for so long. And uh, but man, there's still so much for Egypt. I love it. I, mean, the I, I think we're living in a great, uh, another great age of archaeology. Our world's oldest shipyard. Oldest cool. Shipyard. Yes, the world's largest and oldest known ancient shipyard was discovered on Dana Island in Turkey's Mersin province by the Department of Cultural Where? Heritage Preservation and Restoration at Akdeniz University. The shipyard was built during the Greek Dark Age. Shortly after 1200 BCE, Bronze it Age is collapse. possible that this island was the original home of the Denyen, one of the tribes of the Sea Peoples. Ooh. Later, it would have been taken by the Greeks. Oh, we need to find the those. Who the f were those freaking Sea People, dude? The freaking Greeks, gone. Or Mycenaeans, gone. Okay, hit was it Hittites? Gone. Egypt, gone. And then just pieced out. It began to be uncovered in 2015, but only now find their origins. its full size has been determined. It includes 294 slipways, Good allowing for nearly 300 so warships cool. to be built simultaneously. The archaeologists say that this many slipways could have significantly influenced Mediterranean political, material, and commercial balances. The ships built at Dana Island played roles in various historic naval battles, including conflicts between Greeks and Persians. Number 16, 4,000-year-old okay. temple in Peru. Yes. You know, that's one of the areas. We, we, we are so dumb when it comes to ancient Americas. We are just throwing around, like, guesses and stuff. We, we have no clue what was going on and how deep this history is. It's one of those places, too. If you want to go get your Nobel Prize... Go go to the America go go to the Americas go to yeah go to Peru go to Central America like, go at there. UNSM in Peru discovered a four thousand year old U shaped temple at the Miraflores archaeological site in western Peru, and the temple features a chacana carved into a frieze. This chacana, an ancient cross, Get off it, bro. used by the later Andean peoples, is the oldest complete representation found in the Andes and reinforces the long cultural and religious tradition related to this symbol in ancient Peruvian cultures from as early as 4,000 years ago up until the Inca period. Very you know, wasn't it, isn't it around that area too that we find, um, we find mummies, right? So there's a lot of mummies in ancient Americas too. I think a lot of them are even, you know, they're older than the Egyptians when they were mummifying. Mummification's big Very for them. Interesting. Number 15, Ooh. sunken Greco-Egyptian temples. Stuff. A joint Egyptian French archaeological mission headed by Frank. Just think Dabio how much stuff's the in the Mediterranean. Of underwater archaeology of the All the history. Of tourism and antiquities in the submerged city of Thonis Heracleion near Alexandria discovered temples dedicated to the ancient Greek goddess Aphrodite and the Egyptian god Amun. Alexander. Aphrodite's temple contained Greek bronze and ceramic artifacts, and Amun's contained silver ritual Ooh, instruments, yeah. gold jewelry, so cool. and alabaster containers for perfumes. Both discoveries were sitting oh, on top of cool. wooden posts and beams that have been carbon dated to the 5th century BCE. Cool. These discoveries were made possible thanks to new geophysical prospecting technologies that allowed the teams to... I don't want to go in the ocean because ocean scares me, but... ...multiple layers of clay. 
These finds help to reinforce the significance of Thonis Heracleion as Egypt's largest Mediterranean port prior to Alexandria's founding. Number 14, Zapotec Tunnels Under Catholic Church. Have you heard of the Zapotecs? Mm. They were an ancient Mesoamerican culture. Right. Mexican researchers I've only heard the name, cutting edge ground scanning technology have found beneath the San Pablo. See, this is the future for archaeology now. This like LIDAR, I don't know what this process is, but like these technologies where we can basically like pierce through the surface. Um, I know it's it's groundbreaking stuff in the jungles of Central America too, where they're going and finding out like the Maya, you know, we're way bigger than what we thought. They're, they're able to pierce now through the canopy of the jungles and find just all these cities that you just can't find because the jungle's so thick. And you wouldn't even you wouldn't even find it if you were walking there. It could be from here to a wall next to you, like, you know, and you would never see it because it's so thick. This is this is the future. Love it. And how they found that uh, um, that chamber in uh, uh, in the Great Pyramid. Apostol Church in Mitla, Oaxaca. Tell you, it's an exciting era for archaeology. Underworld, right now. consisting of a chamber and tunnel system that was connected to the Zapotec cult of Kinda the Kind of makes dead. sense, because... The Zapotecs, thriving near Oaxaca since the late 6th century I'll BCE, built the complex system of chambers and tunnels. The church is on the spot of a once important Zapotec religious center. See, see this is what the Spanish did. Fortunately, and all over the Americas, all these temples and stuff, they either just destroyed them, buried them, built right on top. It's such a travesty what happened there. And and um, it just erase, erases the history. It's so and sad. The findings confirm historical accounts of rituals and ceremonies conducted in subterranean chambers associated with the dead. Number 13, Han mm. Dynasty tombs in China. In two places, Love ancient in China, Han Dynasty, tombs from the Han Dynasty were discovered. Golden Age, uh, often considered the the Golden Age of ancient China, the the period where they really set the standard for the future of Chinese civilization. So they were the second dynasty that unified basically all of China. It kind of starts with the Qin Dynasty, you know, that unified you know basically all of it. And um, yeah, their legacy is big. And even today, the Chinese you know people consider themselves Han. That's like their 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 like ancestry, Han Chinese. Discovered. On a local hill in Lao Zhuangxi in Henan province, a cluster of 22 ancient tombs spanning nearly 1,600 years has been discovered. Two of the tombs are from the Eastern Han Probably Dynasty, a powerful people. 25 to 220 CE. The others are from the later Song, Ming, and Qing dynasties. Then, in the Middle Wulong Ages. district near Chongqing, a collection of tombs dating from the Han Dynasty to the Six Dynasties period were found. The most significant of these tombs was one from the Any Western bodies? Han Dynasty, which they were able to date precisely to 193 BCE. Okay. Found in it That's were more than 600 Han. precious artifacts, including lacquerware, woodware, Any bodies bamboo there? Ware, pottery, and bronzeware. This is the largest quantity of lacquered wood and bamboo wares ever found in one it's place in That's the so upper cool. reaches of the Yangtze River. Further study of the tomb contents will no doubt shine more light on this period. Number 12. Oh, I want to sound it. I'm guessing there wasn't bodies found. I wonder what the deal is with that. If because they said there were tombs, right? So grave robbers, stuff like that. I wonder what's going on. Maya city in the Yucatan. Yeah. So kind of stuff I was talking about in the Yucatan using tech while working in the Yucatan stuff, Peninsula's maybe? jungle. Archaeologists from Mexico's National Institute for Anthropology and History and the University of Houston discovered an entire ancient Maya city known as Akomtun, or Stone Column. Yep, see through the They found the site trees. using airborne laser scanning. Isn't it LIDAR, is what it's plus called? foot tall pyramid-like structures, this late classic Maya city was inhabited between 600 and I love the Maya art CD. and architecture. Number 11, new fragments so cool. of the Fasti Ostienses. For those who don't know, the Fasti Ostienses are inscriptions that make up a list of Roman magistrates and significant events. Hmm. They were originally engraved on marble slabs and Rome nerds, here we go. In Ostia, a port town near Rome, but in later times the marble was reused for other buildings, so pieces of them can be found all over the place. Well, new fragments of the Fasti Ostienses have been discovered at the Ostia Antica Archaeological Park in Italy by the Ostia Postscriptum Excavation Project. It's so nice that the Romans just like wrote everything down. Like, that was so good. They were so modern in that way with record-keeping and history. 
right? That's amazing. One of the newly recovered Fasti <laughs> fragments they took it very together seriously. with another previously found fragment, which dates to 128 CE during the reign of Emperor Hadrian and which details events from that year. A bit later Roman Empire. Hadrian receiving the title Pater Patriae, father of his country, on mid, January 10th, mid, and his wife Sabina empire the title of Augusta. Other important mm. information is contained on these fragments as well. This is important because the Fasti are one of the most important sources for the chronology of the late Roman Republic mm. and early empire. So far, all the known fragments cover the period 49 BCE to 175 CE. Number yeah, 10, Pax Shang Romano. Dynasty town in northern Ooh, China. Ooh, that's old. Shang. The, Shang's super old. One of the first dynasties. Wait, what is it? It's a uh, Shang what? Number 10, Dynast Shang Dynasty, Dynasty Shang town, town in northern China. I love their jade, the too. Like that archaeological site in northern China, a complete Bronze Top Age town hill. was discovered. The town dates back to the early Shang dynasty. That's the second dynasty of China over 3,000 years ago and holds hundreds of artifacts like bronze drinking vessels, painted pottery, and jade ornaments. Covering over 1.2 square miles, yeah, the they love jade for that, which site is, so cool. is one of the, the largest from the Shang dynasty. Stone. And it provides insights into their cultural and social organization. Archaeologists also found nine aristocratic tombs here, indicating that the site may have been the capital of a state later assimilated by the Shang the dynasty. The handle of something? Number nine, oldest known <laughs> town gate in Israel. Near Kiryat at Tel Erani, a 5,500-year-old like town gate made Jericho? of huge stones and mud bricks was discovered. The gate dates to the Bronze 1B period and suggests that settlements in the area date to as early as 3,500 BCE. The excavation site director described the gate as an indication yep. of transition from scattered living they to urban cities, city life with fortified walls. The gate was likely a mandatory passageway for all entering the city, serving both as a defense and a symbol of the town's importance. The discovery surpasses sure. the prior oldest known gate from Tel Arad, which dates to approximately 5,200 years old. Number eight, 2,500 year old Tartessian stone busts. Spanish archeologists have discovered five life-size stone busts depicting gods of the ancient Tartessos civilization. Ooh, ooh, I don't know them. See, I love ancient history. There's, oh my gosh, there's so much more. The algorithms got me going uh, right now, which is really cool on basically Neolithic, um, Neolithic civilizations and and peoples of Europe, um, which is so cool because there's uh, there's so much to to think about. We forget about like mainland Europe, especially with um, some of that stuff, because you know not one of the River Valley civilizations, but they were like thriving um, Neolithic, so basically very early agriculture. Entry BCE. In a sealed pit in southern Spain, That's near Guadiana. That's really Valley. beautiful. Though. The site is home to an adobe temple at Casas del Turunuelo, Look and revealed two nearly complete figurative reliefs, likely representing female divinities adorned with gold earrings, and fragments of three others. One identified as a warrior wearing a helmet. This discovery has helped to change scholars' views of Tartessian culture, which was previously understood as aniconic or only prescribing divinity via animal and plant motifs, hmm. not human figures. Hmm. Number seven. That. We just rewrote religious history, right? In early Europe. Very cool. Jandu, all right. 1,000 Jandu in China's southwestern 10, province of Yunnan at the Hebosuo Archaeological Site. More than 10,000 bamboo and wooden slips known How as did they Jandu, survive? were discovered. So the earliest writing that we find in China, usually those oracle bones. So they'd write on uh, bones, turtle shells and stuff like that. And uh, they're actually really cool. They'd be used for like fortune telling. Um, you would inscribe something like a question or something like that into a bone and then uh, heat it up in a fire, which makes it crack. And apparently the ways that it would crack, these shamans would use that as um, a way or it some had some kind of system or something that you know, the cracks basically answer the question. Usually it's hard to find this kind of bamboo and this kind of stuff because it biodegrades, right? Now this stuff is a lot harder than normal wood. Um, but yeah, hard, hard, very hard to find this old writing. Gundu represents a form of book. That's why, it's why cuneiform is so well known 
and and found so much is because um, they didn't write on reeds and 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 wood because that was very scarce in Mesopotamia. They fire, you know, uh, fired clay coming out of the Tigris and Euphrates riverbeds, which preserves so much better. Anyway, before the invention of paper, let me go back. Discovered, Jundu represents a form of book created before the invention of paper. The majority of the Jundu like tied together. The site are administrative and contain names of counties and like people scroll. within the Yijo prefecture established by Emperor Wu of the Han dynasty. It's Han, Although okay. some do contain This is much later than the Oracle Bones. Official seals from 20 of the 24 counties. One of the things the first kind of um, unifier founder of, of China um, in the Qin Dynasty did was uni try to create some uniformity in Chinese writing. So the Han were able to kind of continue that, simplify it. The ancient Dian Kingdom, a non-Han culture known for agriculture and advanced metalworking, which was annexed by Emperor Wu in 109 BCE, were also found at the site. This indicates a well-designed social it a woman? system Empress and suggests Wu? that special political roles were set up else? by the Han government. The discovery is now viewed as evidence of this period of China as a unified country of multi-ethnic cultures. Right. Number six, 3,400-year-old pyramid in Kazakhstan. Sick. In the Karagata region of Kazakhstan, no idea. a pyramid from the Begazi Dandibai <coughs> culture from the last phase of the Andronovo period in the Late Bronze Age, was discovered. The excavation was conducted by archaeologists from Karaganda University atop a hill overlooking the Taldi River in the Shet district of It's Karaganda, the first of its kind. And revealed, found. via carbon-14 analysis, that the pyramid's construction dates to between the 14th and 12th century BCE. Within the pyramid's burial chamber were found decorated ceramic vessels. Did they find One those stones upright that represent like represent proto-writing. A bronze mm. and gold-ringed arrowhead and a skull. The people who lived here may be proto-Scythians or ancestors of the Turks. Number five. Everyone is. <laughs> new chambers in the pyramid of Sahura hey. at Abu Sir. I love seeing the like the broken pyramids. Like they don't they don't get the respect. The ones that have just like crumbled. And stuff like that. We always just think about the big famous ones. And even those, of course, have their their eroding problems. But, like, let's have some love for these boys. All right? Egyptian and German archaeologists from the University well, probably of be afraid to collapse on have you. discovered eight previously undocumented storage rooms inside the Pyramid of Sahura. Sahura was the second Not king the tomb, of Egypt's fifth dynasty, reigning in the 25th century so BCE. The interior of the pyramid was so damaged that in times past it was very difficult to explore it any further. But times have changed. The discovery was made during work on conservation and restoration, which involved a 3D survey of the pyramid's corridors and chambers. Insane. During so the survey, the team found a passage leading to at least eight damaged storerooms, cool. with only traces of original walls and parts of the floor remaining. This discovery should help researchers learn more about the structure of pyramids at this time Which kingdom? and their development. Which kingdom are Number we talking four, about? Roman Which kingdom are we talking about there? Storeroom. So if they weren't the tombs, I guess they would just be what store it. Like, you know, how in, in usually in tombs, you know, um, you find if they're <laughs> not haven't been looted, um, the 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 possessions that the you know pharaoh or the noble had right because of course uh, egyptian belief is that you can basically you know the next life is an extension of this one so you can literally bring objects you know with you basically to the next life so i wonder if these were kind of part of that too everything probably got looted a long time ago but pretty much all the pyramids you know anything visible was looted at some point it's why the value of the kings is so great because you know, it was so much more well hidden. When forts in Syria and Iraq, yes, so I mean, it was probably old kingdom, Cold War right? Era US all, spy like satellite photos recently pyramids revealed are. hundreds of previously unknown Roman era forts in Iraq and Syria. The discovery <laughs> challenges the previous belief that these forts were primarily defensive structures. The images, which are from the Corona Shoot. and Hexagon satellite programs, Rome. show that they They're appear to have instead been built to protect routes frequented by caravans and travelers. Now that we know where they are, it's just a matter of Fight the of Sasanians. Exploration. Number three. I mean, they're always trying to, they're always battling the Sasanian, the Persians, right? So having their Mesopotamia, that would be their eastern reach. 
um, there. Going to be very useful. Three more hidden structures in the Amazon rainforest. Cool. Another place where the history is just sort of forgotten. Structures in the East Amazon the Andes, rainforest. You know? LiDAR mapping has recently revealed LiDAR. structures in the rainforest, including geoglyphs, ponds, ditches, and wells that date back as far as 1,500 years ago. 900 earthworks and 24 ceremonial sites and fortified villages have been found so far. And these scans only covered 0.1% of what? the Amazon. Now, I don't know any, I don't know, ancient Amazonian culture, I just don't know anything about. Anything, to be honest, mostly east of the Andes in the northern part of South America, I am just clueless on. I don't know if, that, don't know if that's just because there's not a lot of data and a lot of this stuff be out there, but are we potentially talking about like a, a great civilization? Um, again, it would have been 500 AD, so they would have been, you know, contemporary with the, uh, you know, with the Mayans up north, but yeah. Researchers estimate Let's that there keep could looking. be as many as 16,187 earthwork sites that wow. remain to be discovered. The cool. suggestion that the Amazon was an untouched forest is His globe is cool in the bottom right. Number two. We're Ooh, almost love there, Mesopotamia. folks. A Syrian Syrians. administrative building with tablets. In a combined Italian Ooh. and Iraqi effort, two cultural layers of Assyrian settlements have been discovered in Nineveh, Iraq. The first the belongs to the old Assyrian period. The, the mud brick well, administrative one of them, building one. spans the 20th later. to the 7th centuries BCE. Inside the building, 120 clay tablets with literary texts were found. These texts will what help researchers they? understand even more about Assyrian culture, language, literature, Contracts. administrative practices, and Have their way just... of life. I can't wait until they are published. Oh, the second okay. layer belongs to the more modern. Always period. open. You find something new because, like, so much of the old stuff we find there, it's like, I mean, it's cool because it's old, but it's you know business transactions and stuff like that. But if it's from an administrative building, then hopefully we can find laws treaties that kind of stuff that really change our idea of history of assyria and hints that there may be more to be discovered at the site Ooh. and finally number one did he Near rank modern these? Day Tello in southern Iraq is the Sumerian site of Girsu, which was discovered Sumerians, in the 19th cool. century. But the British Museum, First big civilization under the guidance of, of the Iraqi State Board of Antiquities, Syria. is undertaking new excavations there. This year, several amazing new finds were announced. See that stuff. Well, in hard. 2022, <laughs> through the use of remote sensing technology, a complex of structures was identified under Tablet Hill, as it's called, on the site. And some mud brick walls, believed to be part of a palace, were then uncovered. And more than cool. 200 cuneiform tablets. More writings. I love yes. it. This year, though, the main sanctuary of the great Sumerian god Ningirsu was discovered. The temple is known from Sumerian texts. It was called Eninu and was revered as one of the most important temples of Mesopotamia. Archaeologists cool. have been wanting to find this temple for a very long time. So they knew and it now existed. They have. Also, a civilization-saving water channel was discovered. The ancient water channel, or water flume, was designed to combat droughts by transporting water to distant agricultural areas using the Venturi effect and predates similar Western technologies by thousands of years. A palace, a temple, a water flume, and more Sweet. is likely to come. So I'm excited about what's going on at Let's Girsu. Go. And there you have it, my top 20 picks for the best That's archaeological awesome finds stuff of 2023. This year, if you think yeah. I missed anything, let me know in the comments down okay. below. And don't forget to check out my monthly live stream to keep up on the latest in archaeology news. Sweet. All right, final thoughts. You know, as a history teacher, I think it's 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 important for me to make sure I'm up to date on this stuff too. This is the stuff that's fun to talk about in um in schools. I, in school, I love talking about like a new thing that you know, even if it hasn't been confirmed, we can talk about it with the students and say, "Hey, just so you know, this might change like the thing we're just learning because we just found this you know other thing." It's so fun to do that, and you know, got to stay up to date on this stuff. So I need to do a better job of you know following archaeology channels and stuff like that. So definitely recommend me some. Um, 
some of the ones I, I guess I've covered. I don't know. Would you uh, like consider like Told in Stone? You know, for Rome, I love those guys. Uh, Ancient Architects is a good is is always a good one too. But um, always into that kind of stuff. So if you guys ever find a uh, you know archaeological you know, like, like videos of new findings and stuff, I'm sure to recommend them. Go over to the Discord server, drop in the video suggestions. And uh, if you guys will, you know, watch those videos with me, I'll cover them for sure. So anyway, my last thing to ask you guys is of, of the 20 discoveries that you just heard here, which one do you think is the most important or potentially the most important? All right, with that, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.